The Billchip SSQ BAT plasma tube is the largest commercially available plasma tube. It's a big one. And because it is so large, it requires special electrodes to make it work properly. Stay with us, and in this video, we'll show you exactly how those electrodes get fitted to the tube and how they work. Yes, the Bilcheb SSQ BAT is a big plasma tube. Measuring more than 76 centimeters long by 75 millimeters in diameter, it is arguably the largest commercially available plasma tube for Rife systems. The extreme length of the SSQ BAT requires a very high voltage to light the tube when it is first turned on. To prevent possible damage to the amplifier used to drive the tube, it has been necessary to develop special electrodes for the SSQ BAT. These electrodes are made of a semi-hard copper strap which have been treated with a heat radiating coating to help prevent overheating of the tube during normal operation. When you unpack your E4WSW electrodes, you will notice that the side wires are each about 60 centimeters in length. The extra 20 centimeters of wire will be used during installation of the electrodes on the plasma tube. If you look carefully at one of the side wires, you will see that there is a blue mark on the wire about 40 centimeters distant from the electrode. When the installation of the electrodes is complete, each of the side wires will be cut off at the blue marking. Now we will take a look at installing the electrodes on the plasma tube. This process will be repeated for each of the two electrodes. Before you begin installation of the electrodes on the plasma tube, make sure you have a safe work area for your tube. The surface of the work area should be clean and soft to prevent accidental damage to the tube. Do not allow any tools or hard objects in the work area as these may damage the tube. Be sure the work area is arranged so that the tube cannot accidentally roll away and fall on the floor. To install the E4WSW electrodes on the SSQ BAT plasma tube, begin by carefully wiping the plasma tube with a clean, soft cloth to remove all traces of dust, dirt, oil, or other contaminants from the surface of the tube. Each electrode is supplied with a thin, insulated copper wire about 60 centimeters in length. These are called side wires, and each wire is electrically connected to the inside edge of its electrode. The purpose of these side wires is to produce a high voltage electric field between the wires. This high voltage electric field causes the gas in the plasma tube between the side wires to ionize very rapidly when power is applied to the tube. This rapid ionization prevents excessive voltage buildup inside the amplifier, which could cause amplifier failure. Carefully place the electrode on the tube. Be sure that the black electrode wire and the thin side wire are towards the inside of the tube, that is, they are facing towards the other end of the plasma tube. Using the machine screw and nut, carefully fit the electrode to the plasma tube. The electrode should be placed far enough away from the end of the tube so that the entire electrode is fitted against the flat wall of the tube. The electrode should not extend over the curved end of the tube. Tighten the machine screw and nut by hand. Carefully squeeze the flanges of the electrode together so that you can run the nut down on the machine screw to clamp the electrode against the tube. The electrode should be just tight enough so that it does not slip along the plasma tube but not so tight against the tube that it cannot be moved at all. Now we will fasten the side wire to the plasma tube. Begin by stretching the wire straight along the side of the tube. Place a short length of transparent tape over the side wire about three centimeters away from the electrode. Press the tape firmly in place to fix the side wire to the tube. Stretch the side wire along the length of the tube. Note the blue mark on the side wire that is 40 centimeters away from the electrode. Use another short length of transparent tape and attach the free end of the side wire to the plasma tube. Starting slightly beyond the blue mark on the side wire, 
carefully apply a small amount of cyanoacrylate adhesive along the length of the side wire. Stop applying the adhesive when you reach the tape closest to the electrode. Do not let the adhesive run between the electrode and the plasma tube. Allow the adhesive enough time to set properly before installing the second electrode and side wire. After the adhesive on the first side wire has hardened, you may begin installation of the second electrode on the plasma tube. Use the machine screw and nut to carefully attach the electrode to the plasma tube. Remember that the electrode should not extend over the rounded portion of the tube. Notice that the electrode flanges are in line with each other. Make sure this is done because this will position the side wires in the proper orientation. After the electrode is clamped in place, you will stretch the side wire along the tube and affix it to the tube temporarily with two pieces of transparent tape. Remember to stretch the side wire slightly when the tape is applied. This ensures that the side wire will be in solid contact with the wall of the plasma tube. Now inspect the tube to make sure that the wires are lined up parallel with each other on opposite sides of the tube. When you're satisfied that everything is correct, take some more of the adhesive and run a small amount of it along the edge of the wire to affix the wire in place. After the adhesive has hardened completely, it is time to cut the side wires to the correct length. Use a razor blade or sharp knife to cut directly through the side wire at the blue mark. Be careful not to scratch the surface of the plasma tube. Carefully lift the cut wire away from the plasma tube. Use the razor blade or knife to carefully remove the excess adhesive from the plasma tube. Finally, remove the extra length of wire and the tape from both ends of the side wire. Turn the plasma tube over and repeat this process on the other side wire. This completes the installation of the E4WSW electrodes on the SSQBAT plasma tube. Now let's take a look at the electrodes in operation. In this plasma tube, the side wires are of different colors for ease in identification. Here the tube is powered up at a very low power level so that you can see the ionization that occurs between the side wires. Let's rotate the tube slightly so you can get a better view. Still pictures are interesting, but video is more fun. So let's take a look inside the plasma tube when it's operating at low power. You can easily see the discharge between the side wires. As the power is increased, the tube will finally go into full conduction and you'll see solid glow between the side wires and through the center of the tube. Full power in the tube. You can still see the glow around the side wires and we'll take a look right down the middle of the tube. You'll be able to see the central glow where the powerful discharge is occurring between the electrodes from one end of the tube to the other as well as the discharge from the side wires themselves. In this final test, you can see the discharge between the side wires becomes brighter and brighter as the power is increased. Finally, the power becomes high enough so that the discharge starts between the main electrodes. At that power level, the tube has a very bright glow between the main electrodes and is receiving maximum power from the amplifier. Using E4 WSW electrodes ensures that the SSQ-BAT lights very rapidly every time power is applied.